This looks like it was just a bumblebee. When it was in the egg, I thought that there was a chance it was a hat russo as well, but it looks like it's just a pastel spider. Really nice. Rebels! What's up, guys? I'm back from New York City, and it was awesome. It was awesome. First time I've drove in like five days. Feels a little weird, but uh, we are back. It's seven degrees in Springfield, Ohio. It's colder here than it was in New York. It's nuts. I'm driving Blue Eyes' car. As you can tell, there's snowman head on the on the uh, headrest but i'm actually doing something pretty cool this morning i'm going to go pick up a snake and uh for my for my reptile friends out there i have been thinking about snakes this whole trip uh, brian and let me explain with brian barcheck you know and uh, everything that's been going on with brian i've been thinking a lot about ball pythons you know he is a big name in ball pythons and uh i used to have a lot of ball pythons and it was kind of a struggle to get uh, rats for him because everywhere in Springfield I couldn't really find any. I'd have to drive to like Columbus to get them. But anyway, we have a reptile show here now once a month where I can pick up a few, a few frozen or whatever, you know, and, and feed a snake. And, uh, you know, I've just had, I've just had my tegu here lately and Blue Eyes has had all the other lizards. But there's a certain snake I've been wanting and it's a ball python. And uh, I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm going to show you guys when I get it. Unfortunately, I won't be filming at it, it's, it's a friend of mine's house and uh, I won't be filming at his house because he's not going to be there um, He's a breeder It's John Woodruff and it's Mad River Serpents But he's not going to be there. His wife's going to be there and she doesn't handle snakes So I'm kind of just picking it up from her so I don't really want to take any video because I don't know her so uh, But I'll show you guys when I get the snake So I'm on my way now. So <laughs> see you guys there Rebels, so I just picked her up are you guys ready to see her? She is a bumblebee ball python. And she is beautiful. I don't want to take her out of the package right now because it's going to be hard to put her back in. And it's cold out. I've got the car nice and warm. But I will take her out as soon as I get home. And I'll show her to you guys. Morph, And later made the bumblebee morph off of a spider morph. And uh, this just... It's a cool tribute to Brian, you know, a bumblebee ball python. Awesome. <laughs> ah, she's beautiful. But yeah, I'll take her out when I get home, and I'll show you guys what she looks like. Very cool. Okay, Rebels, we are back home, and I'm about to open this up and show you guys what she looks like. I don't know her temperament too well, so hopefully I don't get bit or anything. Let's see what happens. I know she's probably a little cold. It was warm in the car. Oh, boy. Here she comes. Check her out. She's wanting out right now. But yeah, it was a little warm in the car. So, she's not too cold. Oh, my. Oh, wow. What do you guys think? She was born in July, I believe. It's on the top of the lid. Let me see here. July 16th of last year. So she's approaching six months. Don't have a name for her yet. Maybe me and Blue Eyes may talk about it. I kind of had a name I was thinking of, but I haven't swung it by her yet. You want to see it? No, she does not want to see it. <laughs> well, anyway, Rebels, I just wanted to show this to you guys and <laughs> thought it was pretty cool i haven't had a snake in a while like i said i got rid of my other snakes was having trouble getting to somewhere where i could get rats but now we have a show every month where i can pick up a few at a time and uh as of right now she's eating live but i want to see if i get her on frozen which i've done before with other snakes so i don't think it'll be a big deal but there she is guys if you want, put in the comments of what you guys think you would name her. And uh, we'll go from there. I don't know. Like I said, I had a, a name I was kind of thinking about, but I'm not sure. If you'd like to learn a little more about the spider gene and uh, Brian Barcheck talking about spiders and uh, bumblebees and a lot of other morphs from the spider gene, I've got a short clip at the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash that like button. And if you've not subscribed to Rebels, Reptiles, and Games, please give me a follow. Until next time, have fun collecting.
Thanks for watching, guys. A spider ball python. It's actually an incomplete dominant animal, meaning that it doesn't have a super form, but when you breed it to a normal ball python, per se, on average, about half the babies come out looking like a spider. Let me start by giving you a little history on the spider ball python. In actuality, a guy named Tyrone from Cal Zoo in California actually imported an animal that looked something like this. It was an adult male, and he offered it for sale. I think it was about $1,500 is what he was asking for. This is way back in the late 90s and Lindy from Freedom Breeder ended up buying that animal after it sat in Tyrone's place for quite some time. Lindy then did a partnership with Kevin McCurley from Nerd who is a massive ball python breeder and one of the founders of the ball python trade and Kevin bred that animal and turned out to be incomplete dominant. When he bred it to a normal about half the babies came out spider. Now the whole reason it was named spider or is named spider now is actually because Kevin called it a spider web ball python because he felt like the patterning almost looked like a spider web. Now this was really unbelievable back in the day because again there was only a couple mutations of ball pythons and the ball python industry was just starting to take off. And with the addition of the very first incomplete dominant animal it really changed the game and I think I was the second person to buy one of these guys. I paid $25,000. The second person to buy one of these guys. I paid $25,000. Now this animal here happens to be a mutation of a handful of things. This is actually a spider red stripe super stripe so there's a lot of genes in it but one of the things that comes along with the spider gene and we've really known about this from the very start when Kevin started producing these guys is that they have somewhat of a little bit of a neurological problem do you see this animal its head doesn't move quite right has a little bit of a tilt some are worse than others and it's basically called a spider wobble and this spinner here which is the spider pinch right is a perfect example it's got a little bit more of a shaky head thing going on when it moves it does corkscrew a little bit but nothing true dramatic I have personally work for a long time to kind of get as much of the wobble out. Now it is linked to the gene, so there's no way you're going to separate it. When you produce a spider, there is a neurological glitch called a wobble, and you're never going to totally get rid of it. But what I found is if you breed animals that have the least amount of wobble, typically their offspring come out with the least amount of wobble as well. Now I totally understand the people that say like, listen, I don't want to breed anything that has some kind of a genetic defect. The wobble with the spider is a genetic defect. The thing is, is that there's a lot of genetic deflects when you start breeding animals. Hey, look at anyone that is into dogs or cats for that instance, understand that a lot of the dog breeds and cat breeds have genetic defaults that go along with them. The thing is why I'm starting this whole rant is that the powers that be over in the UK and I hear some other European countries are soon to follow, basically ban the sale of spider ball pythons. That's right, they ban the sale of spider ball pythons and all combinations thereof. So they decided that they we're going to kind of play the biggest power and say we can take away your right to choose whether you ever want one of these absolutely gorgeous animals in this your beautiful snake right here this is actually a super entry bumblebee ball python and i hope that you're having an amazing day today welcome to the vlog i'm going to show you some baby ball pythons that have shed and had a few meals now and they certainly look really good because 2020 has been an amazing production year for us and we have so many amazing ball pythons again this is just one of them but wow i tell you what that's super entry and the pastel and the spider mixed together who doggy that's a beautiful snake a spider female and weirdly enough she's actually bred to that same male as the first one which is the pastel vanilla bamboo unbelievable and all we have to do is get this girl down just get this girl down and take a look at that whoa she does have a couple sluggers in there she's a really beautiful animal and again that pastel vanilla bamboo oh my gosh this is gonna be amazing okay come on mama do not bite me do not bite me it's okay girl it's all right all in all it's a really beautiful clutch again looks like we have a couple little sluggers here no big deal and look at this this is really cool you see that kind of wiggling around in there that is literally an egg that has just came out and hasn't even started to calcify yet so you can literally see the veins and you can see the actual embryo in there the clutch hatched out that was in the reptile live cam i cut these a while ago it was a pastel bred to a pastel kingsman so uh, a bunch of really cool babies that actually hatched out i'm going to just dive right 
right into these guys and take a look at them. This is absolutely incredible. The Kingsman is actually a half Russo animal, not actually a lesser. So theoretically, a pastel Kingsman is the wrong thing. But regardless, this is actually a little spider pet Russo animal here. Really kind of cool how it changes the pattern from, say, a spider lesser or what they would call a lesser bee. We have a little pastel pinstripe here, which would, of course, be called a lemon blast. Really beautiful little animal. This looks like it was just a bumblebee. When it was in the egg, I thought that there was a chance it was a hat russo as well, but it looks like it's just a pastel spider. Really nice. And remember, there's pastel on both sides, the pastel female and the pastel kingspin. So this is a super pastel right here, which is just the double of the pastel gene. Now we get into some really beautiful animals right here. This looks like this is actually a killer bee, which is a super pastel spider and also a hat russo. So this one is unbelievably gorgeous. This is another one that looks to me like it is probably a spider hat russo. Although it's not quite as interesting as this one is, I think it's the same genetics. Again, I've talked about the fact that there's polymorphism within the same snake. You get three are the same type of genetic snake and they can all look a little bit different. We also have this little monkey here, which is really interesting because it hatched and then it crawled back into the egg. And this is another one that is a bumblebee pastel spider and a hat russo. Whew, that one is unbelievably good. And this is the one that I'm pretty sure is a yellow belly is too. So I think the pastel kingspin actually has yellow belly in it. Seeing a little bit of yellow belly throughout here. And then this is the all gene animal right here. This is a super pastel. This is a spider. This is a pinstripe and it is a het russo. So it's all the genes mixed together and wow, that did not disappoint guys. I mean, oh my God, that is one pretty snake right there. So uh, that is what hatched out of this clutch. And again, keep your eyes on the reptile live cam and you can watch clutches like this hatch 24. We also have this little monkey here, which is really interesting because it hatched and then it crawled back into the egg. And this is another one that is a bumblebee pastel spider and a hat russo. Whew, that one is unbelievable. Unbelievably good. And this is the one that I'm pretty sure is a yellow belly is too.